Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Patrick Dickinson Health and Wellbeing. You will have seen on the blog that is quite new that I'm covering a range of topics from fitness to diet to superfoods um, and natural wellbeing for people. So today I'm going to be covering um, heavy metals, which is uh, becoming more of a big thing in this day and age, um, with many toxins in the air, and I think it's um, a lot bigger than people actually believe. So I'm going to cover some info here. Heavy metals in the human body contribute to serious health problems. Toxic heavy metals such as mercury, cadmium, lead, uranium and aluminium may enter the human body through food, water, air or absorption through the skin. In today's world, it is difficult to avoid exposure to anyone or more of these metals. However, it's useful that there are foods that can help you remove the toxins from your body. A um, little, little furthermore, from aluminium in deodorant to mercury and dentin fillings, metal toxicity comes at us at every angle these days. The presence of these heavy metals and others such as arsenic, cadmium and lead has increased as in industrialisation and its waste products spread. We can work to avoid these substances as much as possible, but some exposure will still occur at times. Since even the small amounts of heavy metals in the body can cause negative side effects like fatigue, headaches, digestion problems and skin conditions, it is important to use natural methods to clean your body of these toxins. So here I have some ingredients and I'm going to show you how to make a smoothie. Now the aim of this is that the natural ingredients bind with the heavy metals in your body and therefore detox them from your system. What I'm going to start with now is a base. I've got something simple, coconut water. It's not high in sugar, so we're going to use that as a base. You can use normal water if you choose. And to bind with the heavy metals, we're going to use something called spirulina. It's an algae that is found in seaweed. It does have a bit of a bitter taste to it, so we're going to add a little bit of orange juice, just to take away the bitterness. Okay, so we've got our base there, and we're going to put some ice in. Now, a little, little bit further reading on um, the foods that can help. Uh, pectin found in the rinds of various fruits and vegetables has been found to chelate heavy metals and other contaminants from the blood system. The com contaminants are excreted from the system through urinization. Good sources of pectin are green apples, cabbage, bananas, beefs, grapes, carrots and the pith of citrus fruits. So we're going to add some lemon zest. The pith of that and that's going to go in, into there. And we're just going to add a little bit of lemon juice as well. Okay. I'm also going to add a banana to that. Bear in mind you can use Apples, bananas, strawberries are very good also at binding metals. And you can also use a host of vegetables as well. Broccoli, um, we're going to use a bit of kale here, spinach. Um, all of these are really good. And you'll see in a minute our main ingredient is which it's all about. Now, we're going to add a little bit of kale. And the two wonder things we're looking at here is first of all cilantro. Cilantro is from the same plant as coriander. This is one of the best herbs you're going to find at binding the metals in your body. Okay, and we're going to add one of my favourite ingredients, a little bit of coconut oil. If you can try and source some coconut oil, it will be one of the best things you will ever buy. You can use it to cook with, you use it for a whole host of things, and it's not as bad for you as say sunflower oil and most of the oils people use in this day. Now for the main ingredient we've got spirulina powder which is an algae and you'll see here by its beautiful colour we're going to put a teaspoon in. Okay you see it's got a, a green colour to it, a greeny blue, it's very powerful stuff this so we're going to put that in and when you're using the spirulina be careful because it, it can stain sides. Um, it's an absolute wonder herb. But I may also stress um, 
where you source your natural ingredients from is very important that they haven't been in touch with insecticides um, that they're um, organic is what you're looking for I've also got here um, well seven superfoods in one which I'm going to go into more tomorrow which is kelp, cacao, hemp, barley grass, chlorella, lucuma, spirulina and maca this also would be good to go in, especially the chlorella and spirulina to do, together, very good for the binding process. But for now, I'm going to go with the spirulina on its own, as I think that it's just such a powerful, wonderful thing to use for what we're trying to achieve here. Okay, so we've got all our ingredients in here. We're going to give this a little whirl. Now you can see how powerful that spirulina is. It's really giving it a, a real dark green colour to it. Okay, there we have it. The perfect smoothie, which will eradicate the heavy metals from your body. Okay. It's got everything in there that you need to bind it together. Okay, wonderful. What you'd be looking to do is follow this recipe for two weeks and over the process of two weeks you can be sure that metals such as lead, mercury, cadmium that will be out of your system. You'll feel a whole new different person without being weighted down. Try it. Thank you for watching Patrick Dickinson Health and Wellbeing. Mmm. Lovely.